pressure. You have learned that force is a push or a pull. Just remember this. Push or a pull apply upon an object, but sometimes large force cannot push or pull a small object. Why? Because of the pressure that we have. Now, what do you see in photograph E.11? Uh, you have a thumb tap, right? And then you push the thumb, you press the thumb tap into a plank, and then press a coin into a plank. What is the difference between E and B? Okay, we look at the we look at the area here. This area. Small area, right? Compared to the area of the coin. Which one has bigger area? Coin, right? So that is why when you press a coin, the coin does not uh, get embedded into the plane. But this thumb tag, when you press it, and then it will stick to that uh, plane. This part of the plane has been embedded to the plane. Okay? This, uh, this part, this is sharp, right? So from here we understand that pressure depends on area. If the area is smaller, see the area of this sharp point is smaller, that's why it can produce bigger force. I'm sorry, it can produce bigger pressure. Let's say you have a pencil like this. If you press this part, you feel pain. But if you press this part, it doesn't feel pain. So this is what meant by this activity. Okay. Okay, this is the formula. Okay, the formula for pressure, force divided by surface area. So from here we understand that pressure is directly proportional to force. So when the pressure is higher, force will be higher. But at the same time, pressure is inversely proportional to surface area. P is inversely proportional to A. You can say that when the when the area sorry, when the area is higher, pressure will be lower. And the other way around. If the area will uh, is smaller, Pressure will be higher. Is that enough? Okay, you can copy this. You have copied the formula. Now you copy this relationship. So that is the relationship between pressure and force. So we repeat again. When the force is higher, pressure will be higher. But when the area is smaller, that pressure will be higher than the other way around. Get it or not? Is it difficult? Okay, can we go on now? Okay, make sure you have copied the formula and also note that I wrote here. Now, let us try to read a question here. Why doesn't an elephant weigh 5,000 kilograms sink into the ground? Okay, that is the question. This elephant is so big, but it doesn't sink into the ground. But if you have a stick, for example, and then you push it, then the stick will go into the ground, right? Okay, now can you tell me what this happens? Uh, the area of the sole of the elephant is big, so it has less pressure. Is it? So that is answer of the question. Okay, let us look at the application of pressure in our life. 
Why are the metal plates of skating boots thin? Okay. Why? The previous higher pressure. Okay. Why is the plate of X is thin? Yeah. Why is it thin? Uh, to produce higher pressure. When you want to cut something, the pressure must be high. It goes the same for a knife, right? Knife is the, the area of the sh uh, sharp part of the knife is very small, so it can produce higher pressure. Why do tractors have big and wide wheels? So that the pressure will be low. Why is the what is the purpose of stocks on the sole of football boots? To produce higher pressure, so it will sink to the ground and you're going to have better grip. Okay, your foot is going to have better grip so that you are not going to slide down. You are you're not going to slip down easily. Okay, the next thing we'll see is gas pressure. This one is gas pressure. Why won't, okay, sorry, you will have surely played with balloons. You know why balloons expand when they are below, when they are blown? Why do the balloons deflate when the air is released from the balloon? So when you blow the balloon, Air from your mouth is transferred into the balloon, right? So the amount of air increases. So the amount of air particles in the balloon also increases, right? So what happens? What happens to the air particle? They will collide each other and you will also collide with the wall of the balloon, right? So this produces pressure, actually gas pressure, okay? Listen. Okay, this produces gas pressure. But when you release the air, the amount of air will reduce, right? So the amount of air particle will also be reduced and the collision between the air particle and the wall will also reduce. So what happens is the pressure will decrease. That's why it will deflate. Understand? Any question? Okay, look at gas, uh, the kinetic theory of gas. Okay, this one is very important. Please pay attention and try to understand this. The kinetic theory of gas states that air molecules always move freely. Move about freely. Move about freely. And collide with the wall of the table. Okay, this is the most important part. It collides with wall of container. The frequency between the frequency of uh, collision between the air molecule and the wall of the container will produce a force that pushes against the wall. This force is called pressure. You can see from here, this air particle will collide with the wall of the container. Okay. It will collide with the wall of the container. So when it collides, it produces gas pressure. Okay, everybody tell me how gas pressure is produced. When air particle collide with wall of container. Okay, again, how gas pressure is produced? When Air particle collide with wall of container. That's how gas pressure is produced. Okay, you can read it yourself. This one. Okay. And then actually we need to do some activities, but we do it later. Okay, we do it later. But for now, we just need to understand uh, gas pressure. Why do balloons burst when they are left under the sun? Is, is it due to factors affecting air pressure? Okay, 
So we have a equation here. When you leave the balloon in the under the sun, and then it explodes. Is it true? Is it true that the balloon bursts or not? You can try yourself later, okay? When you're at home, you can try. Then you see whether it explodes or not. If there is no leakage, there is no leakage, it is supposed to burst. But if it has a tiny leakage, it will not burst. Can you think uh, what is happening here? Why it burst? I say it burst. Okay, why? Why does it burst? Uh, okay, the high pressure. Why? The pressure inside the balloon increases when it's hot. Because you leave under the sun, it's going to be hot, right? Okay, so what happens to the air particle? More faster, right? And the frequency of collision increases. So the pressure also increases. That will burst. Is it? Okay, this one also will do experiment later. I can look at the factors here. Now. Okay, pay attention to this diagram. Okay, this is border gauge. You know what is border gauge? Border gauge is an instrument to measure gas pressure. Okay. Now we have two border gauge here, left and right, and we have two different pistons. Actually, actually, one piston only is that Initially, it is not compressed yet, and the other one is compressed. And you can see the border gauge give a different reading, right? For this one, the reading is high or low? Two kilopascal. This is low, but when you compress piston, you can see the reading high. Okay. You want to know why this really happens? As I mentioned before, pressure of gas pressure is produced when there is collision between a particle and wall of container, right? So when you compress the piston, what happens to the volume? The volume decreases, right? The volume of the piston decreases. So what happens to the frequency of collision? Higher frequency of collision, therefore the pressure will be higher. That's why we have higher reading of the border gauge. Understand or not? So from here we can say that pressure, uh, gas pressure depends on depends on what? Volume. Depends on the volume of the container. Okay, that is the first factor which affects air pressure. What about the second factor? The other one is temperature. Now, now in this case, we don't change the volume, right? You can see the volume of container is the same. But what is the difference? Left diagram we have lower temperature, right? On the right diagram we have higher temperature. At lower temperature, the particles move slowly. Okay, or I can say the kinetic energy of the particle is low. But when the temperature is high, uh, the speed of the air particle increases, right? So what happens to the collision between particle and wall container? Increase or not? Okay, so the frequency of collision okay, will be higher. Therefore, the pressure, or the gas pressure will be higher. So this is how Temperature affects gas pressure. Any questions so far? Any questions? Okay, good. 
One thing, one thing, right? No. Okay, good. So we go on. The next one is atmospheric pressure. Okay, let's look at this topic. Atmospheric pressure. What is the difference between gas pressure and atmospheric pressure? Is there any difference? When we say gas pressure, it is related to a closed container. But when we talk about atmospheric pressure, you know what is atmosphere? The air of our surrounding, right? So it is not about closed container. But the atmospheric pressure depends on what? Everybody knows. That's all what? Pressure. Depends on altitude. At sea level, the pressure is very high. Okay? At sea level, pressure will be very high. And you can see here. Okay, this is at sea level. You can see the, the amount. A particle is very high, level, but the amount of air particle is low at higher altitude. Is that? That is why the pressure will be low on the mountain, for example. The pressure of air is very low on the mountain, and the temperature is also low, right? <coughs> Did you ever go to Cameron Island? You feel the cold weather there? Why this happened? Because of the altitude. So the amount of air is reduced. And because we know that the air, or more specifically carbon dioxide, uh, store heat. But when there is less air on the mountain, so the amount of heat stored will be so that's why it feels cold, the mountain. Okay? So, uh, this is one phenomenon that we can see in our life. Well, yeah, I was very, very sure. Now, let us look at application. Application of the concept of air pressure in daily life. Okay. Now, everybody, what is this? Plunger. Did you ever use it before? So how many of you have never used this before? Raise your hand. How many have you? How many of you have used this before? Pernah guna, kalangan. Tak pernah guna? Ramai juga tak pernah guna. Kau tak pernah jumpa toilet? Kita ada yang tersumpah dekat aku, kita pakai ini lah. Tak pernah? Okay, what is happening here? When you push this sponger, air inside this sponger will go out. Right, when you push it. So, the amount of air is reduced. So, when you try to pull it, so you can imagine, you can look at the volume. Look at the volume. This is A and this is B. Which one has higher volume? B has higher volume. We discussed before when the volume increases, pressure will be low. So when the pressure here is low, low pressure, but atmospheric pressure is high. But to low to sana tari Jadi kita minta test sistem ke buat sedia kadang. Cuba eh. Okay, the next one. What is this? Back the work hemispheres. Back the work hemispheres. Uh, ini this one, is, uh, inside the hemisphere, inside the sphere is vacuum. So atmospheric pressure push it in every direction. 
So you, you will find it very hard to pull it. Banyak ada video yang tunjuk ni ya. Saya ingin tunjuk mencari lah. Uh, sini on this side yang ni kuda tarik sebelah sini tu kuda tarik kuda dan kuda tarik tapi tak berjaya untuk usahkan dia dia dapat the credit pressure is very high jadi saya cari video ya eh. kita tengok ok what about this one uh, ok what about this one Nampak tak ni? Dah kan? Okay. Kenapa air ni tak jatuh? When you tap your finger on one tip of the straw, air cannot enter. Betul tak? So when you lift it, you lift it, this drinking straw, okay, the water here has the tendency to go down. Betul tak? So what is happening here? Volume kat sini apa jadi? Boleh makan increase lah tu lah. Tapi sikit je lah. Dia akan increase. Betul. Tadi kan kita dah cakap bila volume increase, pressure akan jadi low. Jadi sepatutlah kat sini low pressure. Low pressure. Kat sini ada apa? Atmospheric pressure. P A P M. Atmospheric pressure dia lagi tinggi daripada pressure dalam straw Lepas tu dah air tu tak jatuh Ok Kat bawah tu ada atmospheric pressure Yang ni Kenapa tak ni? Awak nak keluarkan air daripada mesin Kenapa? Jadi biasanya uh, orang yang ada aquarium Siapa dia inquiry dekat rumah? Macam mana nak keluarkan air dia? Aku dia buat macam ni lah. Kan? Haa, takkan boleh cedok satu-satu air. Kita buat macam ni. Jadi, one end mesti bawah. Tiup yang kat sini bawah. Jadi, water, bila water keluar ke sini, the pressure kat dalam ni akan jadi rendah, low pressure. The low pressure and most very pressure sini akan jadi tinggi P atm P atm tu yang macam pressure lah akan push dia masuk ke dalam rubber tube and uh, water akan keep flowing kat bawah tu ha? ok lagi apa lagi ha. ok sebelum tu kalau N ini sama level sampai sini je Sampai level ni, air turun tak? Tak turun tak? Sebab pressure dia sama Yang sebelah sini mesti rendah lagi daripada mesti Okay, faham? Okay, next ni apa ni? Strange When you pull the strange What happen? Pressure dah lebih jadi Low, low pressure So, atmospheric pressure, I can pull water itu Supaya masuk dalam switch Then uh, okay. Next Ya apa? Vacuum rumah Siapa tak pernah vacuum? Aku tak bantu Aku tak bantu kan? Jadi saya dah tanya dengan ni pasal Raja Siapa pernah vacuum? Ya semua dah vacuum lah Ada tak pernah vacuum? Okay, put on your hand. Okay, how it works? How present that can be cube here, the angle claw is too. Okay, can I put the angle claw is too? So, but, can I put the machine? Machine is too, the other one is pen lah. Pen to have to push air outside. So, pressure can I put the machine? Low pressure. Bila udara tu dah keluar, pressure kat dalam tu jadi low Bila pressure sini low, atmospheric pressure akan push Udara masuk ke dalam, basic signal Faham? Ha, jadi sebab tu dia dah sedut kabur lah semua So this is our uh, application of atmospheric pressure Okay, kat bawah ni ada benda ni Really do yourself 
Kita serang dah sebenarnya ni. Tapi yang ni, you do not read yourself in for the task. For the task sendiri. Dia baca je. From Sipon Ni ekorium tadi ni Sri And with you Dinner Ada pun saya dah explain tadi Okay Boleh faham? Siapa yang di sini biasa high kick? High kick ada? Awak nak kick mana? Kau 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 mana?